There's only two ways to make more money if you're selling things online. And it's actually very simple when you talk about it, but getting this end result is more difficult than you think. I'm gonna give you specific ways to increase your revenue by doing digital marketing that's far more effective. So this is gonna be a great video if you're selling things online or doing any lead generation or advertising online. It's gonna help you to get more out of what you're currently doing. Hey there, my name is Brandon Bershears. I create daily digital marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, this is a great place for you to do it. So today's video, we're gonna talk about growing your business. And there's actually only two ways to make more money in doing digital marketing. If you're, if you're doing digital marketing or selling products or services online, how do you get more effective? So there's the two ways. One is to reduce costs. So let's say you're paying $10 per lead. If you can take that lead cost and cut it in half, now you're only paying $5 per lead, you make more profit. So cutting costs for leads and, and advertising and the cost to acquire customers is one way to make more money. It makes sense. This way is hard because you have an actual market cost of what traffic costs and how to do lead gen and things like that. It is possible to continually be optimizing your advertising, but as marketing becomes more prevalent, especially, especially digital marketing, costs are going to rise because there's gonna be more competition. So that being said, the other option is to sell more products or sell more to customers. So you make customers more valuable. So you can either sell more or save money on advertising. Let's talk about a few ways to do that. So if you're trying to, let's talk about first, optimizing your ads and your campaigns. Number one, if you're trying to reduce lead cost, the thing that makes this possible is you have to get your analytics right. So you need to know where sales are coming from. If you're running an ad campaign, you need to know exactly how much it costs to get a customer. This sounds like a no brainer, but you'd be amazed at how many businesses don't have their ad tracking set up properly. So I like to do this specifically in any of the ad platforms that I have set up. I've actually created a video up here if you click on that link and it talks about how to set up ad tracking properly. But if you're able to attribute the sales specifically in the ad channels that you're running, so for example, if you're running Google AdWords, you need to have conversion tracking set up inside of AdWords. If you're running Facebook ads, you need to have Facebook ad conversion tracking set up inside of Facebook. So have the ad tracking happen natively inside of each platform. It is also important to set up Google Analytics, but once you understand what is converting and what is not converting, if you can focus on what is converting and really dive down and build in the segments, figure out what the demographics are, which ones are performing best, which ads are performing best, which ad language performs best, and optimize that, you're able to then take your ads and get better results because you're only focusing on the things that are making you money and you're taking away all of the other things that are not making you money. So that's one way to do that. Now, there is always going to be a limit to just how much you can optimize. You can't save yourself into prosperity is a, a very famous saying. If you want to become rich, you can't typically do it by saving money. Saving money is important, but you, if you have $10,000 a month, and you save $10,000 a month, you still only have $10,000 a month. You're not gonna make $100,000 a month by saving that much money, right? You only have your limited however much you're spending. So how do you grow and increase the sales per customer? Now, the way to make customers valuable is you have the frequency with which they buy, you have the volume with which they buy, and then the number of customers that you do. So um, those are kind of the three factors that can help you with your sales specifically. So frequency, how often are you marketing to the list of customers that you already have? That's, I think, very, very important and it's often overlooked. You have clients and customers who already know, like, and trust you. This is the lowest hanging fruit that there is. How can you re-engage and get these people to buy more frequently from you? Because these are gonna be the people that are most likely to buy from you again. They've already expressed interest and they've already bought from you. So figuring out, what can we do to increase the number of offers that we're showing to our current customers? So this is going to be things like um, when you have emails that you're, you're sending out specifically, like let's say you have a physical product business and you sell somebody something. Anytime you send out a tracking email to update that order, you should have promotional items in there. Be making offers, continue to 
put out promotions to these people and really retarget these lists on all of the social platforms as well as Google Display and other places. That way you're able to sell to people who already know, like, and trust you. So make more offers to people who are already clients. Additionally, having upsells in place for these people to make sure that they understand that there's related services and related projects and, and products that they can buy from you and things like that, that makes a big difference too. So upsells are very important as well as downsells. Those are also very helpful. Anytime that you can increase the average order value of your customers, it makes them more valuable. So you're able to spend more on marketing and make more money with them. The other thing that you need to do is to actually build and get more customers and more clients. The way that you do this is you need to have a solid content marketing strategy in place. You need to have a solid audience building strategy in place. So not only finding people who are the right customers, but also finding the right potential customers. This is where you're putting your content out and you're using your content to segment the potential buyers from the non-buyers. And so every single business needs to have audience building campaigns so that they are constantly replenishing their clients and their customers and bringing in new people as well. If you start out with optimizing the current customers that you have, optimizing the offers that you're going to send to them and continue to increase their buy-in frequency, increase their average order value, when you have that set up properly, and if you start there, anytime you add more customers, it's just going to be more effective. So my suggestion for you would be to start out with your own clients and your own customers, figure out what it is that you can offer them. Can you create bundles? Can you create done for you service products? What can you create that's going to show up in front of them, provide value and be relevant to what they've already bought? Once you have that optimized, go on to creating leads that are going to be optimized in cost. Figure out your best demos, figure out your highest performing traffic segments, figure out your highest performing ads, and really focus on scaling those things so that you can add more customers. These are how you, I would love to know though, how do you um, grow your business? Are you having trouble scaling? Are you having trouble finding the right traffic sources? What is it that you're worrying about or working on right now? I would love to know. Comment below with that and I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.